Hello everyone and welcome into the video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the brand new 2023 Cultivate What Matters Power Sheet. Now in this video, I'm going to only be sharing with you the new power sheets and what they look like. I want you to be able to make a decision on whether the 2023 power sheets is for you or not based solely on the content of the new planner and not necessarily my personal thoughts and opinions. I will do a second video and in that second video, I will compare the 2022 versus the 2023 and give you all of my personal thoughts and opinions. And so look for that second video. Let's jump right in to the 2023 version. This year, the box will be the same. However, the band around the box is going to be different. Depending on which of the five new covers you get, you will get this paper band around your keepsake box. You have a choice to choose from trellis, papaya, leatherette, garden arches, or bluebird. And as you can see in front of you, I chose garden arches. In that second video I just shared with you, I will tell you more reasoning behind why I chose this one. I have already taken my power sheet out of the box, so I won't need to open this. Let's set it aside. This is the garden arches design. The cover does have these beautiful green leaves, a blue background with some gold foiling. It's really pretty and I hope that you're able to see this beautiful design. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your choice of cover for 2023? It is a thinner profile this year, does have the gold coils as well. They're slimmer and that is going to make it easier to turn the pages of your goal planner. So let's take a look at the inside. Inside of your power sheets, you will have a sheet of stickers. You will also have this 2023 at a glance calendar. On the back of that, there is a season by season, some holidays listed, which you may or may not um, use. Digging into the pocket, you will also find a word of the year card. You can use this for a scripture. You can use this for a motivational thought um, for the year if you want instead of your word of the year. The inside of your power sheet cover does have some gold foiling as well as the blue pocket for this cover. Each cover will come with a different inside pocket design, so be sure to look forward to that. You've got your Hello Fresh Start 2023, and I like how it's always sharing with you that, hey, this is an opportunity for a fresh start. Your first page will share the mission at Cultivate What Matters and give you a breakdown of what does cultivate mean. This gives you just a little bit of insight that you are here for a fresh start to uncover what matters, to break down that and to live it out. I do really like this page because it just kind of sets you up for success and depth with this planner. You will have a brainstorm your year ahead page where you can just list all the things on your mind that you wanna do. You can use this blue page as well. It is dot grid. And so all the space is usable space in this book. The next two pages, it's breaking free from distractions. Each year, there's an overall theme for the planner, and this year it's going to be breaking free from distractions. It also shares with you something from last year, which I really love, which is comparison. Where is comparison showing up in your life? 
These things are very important for us to identify. It says, core truth, distractions wither with clarity. So when we get clear on what we want and what we don't want, then the distractions are easier for us to deal with. Name what's holding you back. I think this is a great page for you to use uh, as well. It has really helped me in the past. Next, you have your Come Alive Again page. And usually the page on the left and the page on the right uh, relates to each other in this new planner. Name what fires you up. So what is it that you love doing that really brings you joy and gets your blood pumping, your inspiration pumping? What are those things? By using these pages for myself, um, I've kind of found some things that I had forgotten that I really liked to do. And so these uh, have helped me. Next, you have the learn from the past page, which calls you to reflect, right? It says reflection reaps reward. Good things um, that happened to you for the year, what worked for you for the year, challenges, what didn't work for you for the year. What did you learn throughout this um, uh, the past year? What gratitude are you expressing? Who are you grateful for in your life from the past year? Uh, those pages will help you to identify those things and put them in writing. Evaluate where you are. These are the areas of life pages and they'll prompt you to look at a particular area of your life, like your finances. Where are you now? What is your starting point? It's great to have a starting point to reference. Are you satisfied? What's your level of satisfaction in that area right now? This helps you to see where there's room for improvement and for growth. Cultivate your mindset and then rewrite your self-talk. These are some very important pages. Share with me in the comment section if you have negative self-talk about yourself. Do you find yourself doing those things, saying negative things to you about you? And this helps you to identify the negative self-talk and to identify how can I switch that around and make it positive truths, positive self-talk about myself. Next page is name what matters. And this is where you're gonna envision your big picture for your life. <laughs> Y'all, this page, if you allow it to, will really um, bring forth the things that matter the most for you. When you look at your life, when you look at the future, Laura Casey usually say, when you look at you being 80 years old, what will have mattered to you at that point in your life? And what won't matter? What won't have mattered it to you in your life? For these pages, I like to actually take it a step further, which some might say is a little morbid, but for me, it's not because that's going to be the point as, at which you're going to either be regretting or not regretting things. When you are on your deathbed, right? And you think about your life and you think about the things that were meaningful to you, the things that you want to make sure that you're like, oh my gosh, I have these in my life and I'm fulfilled. I feel fulfilled. What are those things? What are those things? And, um... You know, I will share in the next video how this really changed my life. It changed my mindset as well as to how I think about my goals and the goals that I think about and achieving them and the process of achieving them. So this is a very big page. Uh, if you have experience with this, let me know in the comment uh, section below about your experience. This is your big picture vision page and then living out the big picture for 2023 in your life is going to have the areas of life listed. Each of these area of life, you're going to put what is my overall big vision for the year for this category and how am I going to be living that out? What other smaller goals am I going to reach in order? Am I going to reach for in order to accomplish this larger goal? It would be, for instance, if you want to um, to uh, build and maintain a healthier lifestyle. Well, how are you going to do that? What are some of the things that you're going to do 
for that. Maybe it's, all right, we're going to start stretching in the mornings. And someone has yet to do that yet, but I'm not going to call her out. <laughs> I'm not going to call her out. So this will help you to have a better idea of the big picture and how you can go about doing it for the year. This is the what you're saying yes to and what you're saying no to pages. These pages are, uh, is available for you to write on, to just really spread out and throw up on the page. What in your life are you wanting to say yes to? And in order to say yes to that thing, what are you going to be saying no to? What do you need to say no to in order to get to that? What are you saying no to? And if you're saying no to those things, that means you're opening up space to say yes to something. One thing I've learned is that if I'm saying no to something, then I'm saying yes to something else. And I need to make sure I know what that is before someone else put something in that spot for me. I want to be the one to pick what enters into my life and what goes out of my life and not have others do it for me. So super important thing I've learned um, going through my power sheets over the past few years. Next, you have choose your focus and to simplify your year. Little by little progress is something that Power Sheets is known for. And it's the core truth right there. It says little by little adds up. Simplify your goal getting. You don't have to make it big or overwhelming. You build little by little. You do more as you grow, mature, as you know how to do more. And so here it talks about the different type of goals that you can have. You can have habits that you would like to um, to maintain, habits that you would like to develop. There's finish line goals. These are these goals that take a shorter amount of time for you to be able to do. You can say specifically, I want to be able to save X amount of dollars in X amount of months. And you're able to define how you can reach those and have a step-by-step -step action plan, right? Then you have these big dreams. And these are the ones that's going to take you a little bit longer. You know, folks say make a five-year plan, make a three-year plan, make a plan for the whole entire year. My big dream goal is a year plan because y'all, I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow, much less in five years. I do make a big five-year goal <laughs> and I adjust and change it. I refresh it as necessary. But I want to say in this one year, what is this big dream that I have for this year? And what can I do to move forward in that particular goal? So um, you're going to put all of that on the page and you're going to simplify that down. Pick the things that's going to matter the most to you in this present season. Then you have a rough draft of your goals. You got to make sure you're writing down your goals. And if you have um, power sheets, then you know that and you're already making that investment of time and money for yourself. And so you're going to make a rough draft of what are my goals actually going to be, those smaller goals that I'm going to be able to accomplish, whether it's in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, but I'll be able to accomplish these goals in 2023. This page is new-ish, ish. it's revamped, and I'm excited for this particular page because this helps me to see each quarter of the year all at one on one page, which my mind loves, and I can say, okay, these are the warmer months, so I'm going to be able to accomplish these particular goals that are outside related. These are the colder months, which I don't like the cold. So this is how I need to make my adjustments. I, I really do like this page. Then you go into your goal action plan. Your goal action plan takes everything that you have gone through in the prep pages and it puts it on one spread. What you want. So you write down the yearly goal. You write down why you're motivated to achieve this goal. Because if you don't know why you want something, sometimes it's, it, it, it's harder for you to accomplish it because you can't remember why you want this thing when times get hard. What I can do. So what resources do you need? Do you need someone uh, else to assist you with this particular goal? You can write that down. If you need time, you need money, you need expert advice, physical space, emotional capacity. What do you need? You may even need to actually get a certification in order to accomplish something. What do you need? 
Write down what does success look like for you at the end of the year with this goal. It could be at the end of the quarter because it might be something that you're only doing for a quarter. You write that down. What might happen if you don't start or make progress on this goal? <laughs> I don't think we think about that enough. We want to do something, but then we don't think about, well, if I don't do it, what's going to be the consequence? What's going to be the repercussions of that? What's it going to make me feel like if I don't start or do something to this goal? How will you have fun along the way? How will we live it out and live it out loud and live it in color? How are we going to do this along the way? This is going to ask you what area um, of life is this related to? It could be more than one. And this goal includes, is it a habit goal, a finish line goal, a big dream goal? It can be more than one. Usually it is. What I will do. So now you're going to break down into tiny action steps. Definitely breaking down into tiny action steps for each of the goal. You have eight sets of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So each area of life, you can make a goal for each area of life if you want to, or however many areas you choose, you just use up. If You, you can have eight goals in one area <laughs> if you would like to. But you use those page as you see fit. It says, make it easy to remember. Now, core truth, we can't do it all and do it all well, but we can choose to cultivate what matters, right? Now, this is telling us to be able to make a list to look up definitions for words that we're considering as our word of the year. This is telling us to post it someplace where it's going to be easy for us to see so that we can remember why we chose that word of the year. And so you can write it here. You can write it on your card as well. Visualize what's ahead to make it more likely you'll live it. I'll read this. It says, dig in. You know now where you're going. So collage, sketch it, paint it, sticker a vision for your year ahead. So this is where you'll put down all your colorful photos or so if you choose to do that. Your next page, you get some pretty, pretty, some beauty, and you get my goal, yearly goals. So here you can just have your yearly goals at a glance. This sheet you can choose to remove. You can choose to put it on your refrigerator, whatever you want to do to make sure that this yearly page is visible for you. Okay, this is a good reference point. So when you have done your one through eight, then is when you're going to take what you want to do and you're going to put it here. You can use color coding stickers for each area of life, markers, highlighters, whatever you want so that you can color coordinate. You have two additional pages to use however you want to. If you go to the Cultivate What Matters website, you will be able to get additional resource pages that you can print off and use and put on these pages. A book list, a home cleaning list, things like that that you may want to add in here if you want looking to declutter as one of your goals you can use those additional resource sheets. They are free printables on the Cultivate What Matters site, so please check those out. The next page, after all of this beautiful, beautiful prep work, the next page you get to is going to be your divider. This year, you do have your January prepare well, important to-dos for the month. You can list it right on the divider. You get your I'm excited for, I'm hopeful that, on my mind, what are you saying no to for this month? What are you saying yes to for this month? So you can identify those there. You have your monthly calendar. Your tab attaches right to the monthly calendar. You've got some space along the side of the calendar that you can write additional notes on. You have your brainstorm, your month. What are some of those monthly ideas that you are wanting to do or monthly steps that you're wanting to do from here. So what am I doing for the month? What do I need to do for the week? This is building consistency. And what are these daily habits? So a habit might be um, to plug the phone up outside of the room every night instead. Uh, another habit could be um, read first thing in the morning versus picking up the phone, right? So what are your habits? Your daily habit or action items are going to transfer over to your tending list page. 
the tending list is going to tell you, okay, these are my monthly action I, um, plans, my weekly action plans, and my daily action plan. And the last page in the month is going to be your month in review. I have found that reviewing my month, y'all, oh we. So what are you grateful for for this month? Good things that happened this month. Goals that are going well for the month. What's not working for that month that you've discovered? What you read or listened to for that month? Your favorite memories from the month. And then it starts over again in the same way and it goes through the entire year just like that. Now, I will share that, let's see where it was, at the end of the third month, so every third month in the year, you will have your quarterly refresh, where you get an opportunity to look at the goals that you've set for the first quarter. Are they still valid? Are they going well? Do I want to keep them? Do I want to switch it out for something else? Do I not want to work on another one anyway? Do I just want to throw it in the trash? You'll be able to decide that. You have your life areas. You can put your previous number if you're numbering yourself. And then where are you now? It's been three months that you've been working on this. Where are you now? So you can choose to do that. What's your satisfaction level now? keep moving forward. Where have you seen the most growth for the quarter? Which goals do you need to nourish more for the upcoming quarter? What are you saying yes to for the season ahead? And what are you saying no to for the season ahead? So you can figure those things out based on what's going good. What am I doing that's making it grow well? Nourish that more. What am I not doing? <laughs> What I need to stop doing. And that's going to be what I'm saying no to moving forward. You get your refreshed goals. And if you'd like a word for this particular season, a phrase, a quote, whatever you like, you write it there. You can choose to refresh this more often. Um, honestly, sometimes it's on a monthly basis, depending on how my life is. I'm like, look, you see this thing right here? We're just going to put a pause. We're just going to put a whole pause on it because I'm not able to do that. This is your power sheets. Remember that. You also do have on the next page, plan for the season ahead. And these pages are for you to put, okay, so these are the goals that I'm working on for the next season. What are some action items that I can take towards those particular goals? So list the goals, the action items. You can use both pages for that if you need to. Then you go over into April, May, and at the end of June, we will have another one of your refresh. Then at the end of September, you'll also have another quarterly refresh. And then you don't need one for the end of December because at the end of December, y'all, it's time for new power sheets again. What you do have instead, you have your month in review, you have a year in review, and then you have um, month by month. So you can say, okay, well, how did I just live out my best life for the year? There's some questions that are asked. Favorite memory, your best new habit, your most memorable adventure, milestones celebrated, biggest change, most beautiful sight you saw, your best blank, you get to choose, most surprising goal progress, best meal or recipe, song on repeat, person you're most grateful for, and the best thing you read or listened to for the whole year. At the back, some encouragement. It says you did it. Um, and I like that because I think there's a bit of encouragement all along the way. You do have the gold foil stripes on the back as well as we saw it on the front page. So y'all, this is what you will get with your 2023 Power Sheets Goal Planner. If you're going to be getting the 2023 Power Sheets Goal Planner, know what you want by launch day. Launch day is October the 12th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. These Power Sheets sell out pretty quickly. Within the first day or two, your favorite color option will probably be gone. This year, I think, in my opinion, the best sellers are going to be Bluebird, Trellis, Leatherette, <laughs> and, 
and probably this one right here, Garden Arches. And so you may not wanna sleep on getting those. I did the first year and regretted it because these are dated planners. And so once the 12 month planner is sold out, they do not reproduce or restock them. And so I had to wait an entire year to be able to get mine. There will be an affiliate link in the description box down below that you can click on and use. I do appreciate you using that link and supporting this channel.